Good evening, welcome, and Merry Christmas. We're grateful that you're here for our rendition of the story of the first Christmas, and we pray that the story warms your heart once again. We expect that there will be times when you need to wait for a vehicle ahead of you. If so, please just pause this recording and restart it when you reach the next scene. I'll give you directions along the way. Your journey back in time begins with the first scene called The Visit of the Angels, which will be on your right before you reach our parking lot. You catch a glimpse into two rooms. These are two scenes from Nazareth, about nine months before the birth of the Lord Jesus. In one room is a young lady named Mary, and she is being visited by an angel who has a message for her. So God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Luke chapter 1. In the other room is Mary's fiancé Joseph. When he learned that Mary was pregnant, he had in mind to cut off the wedding plans. But an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Matthew chapter 1. Next, you'll move ahead about nine months and 80 miles south to Bethlehem, where you'll enter through the Roman soldiers who are taking a census. Please pause this recording until you've passed through the census booth with Roman soldiers in our parking lot. Joseph and a very Mary, pregnant Mary traveled to Bethlehem, but it was overcrowded. There was nowhere for them to stay. It began for the Lord Jesus the way it would always be. The world had no room for him. And still he chose to come here for us, and that is love. The humble little town of Bethlehem is Jesus' entry point into this world that had fallen into sin and fallen away from God. Jesus came to restore peace between God and all people. It's just as God had promised hundreds of years earlier through his prophet Micah. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Micah chapter 5. Please enjoy the scenery and activity in Bethlehem and its marketplace, and pause this recording until you reach the inn where there was no vacancy just before the manger scene. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Luke chapter 2. It's simply a profound mystery. How could God, the Creator, become man, one of the creatures? But why he would do that is no mystery. It is what God has been saying to this world ever since the human race fell into sin in the Garden of Eden. Why? Because he loves every single one of us and wants us back. Love. Love like we can't wrap our minds all the way around is the heart of the story on that blessed night when our Lord was born to save us. After the manger scene, you'll travel outside the city of Bethlehem, where the Almighty God, who so often works in quiet and humble ways, chose lowly shepherds to be the first to hear about the holy birth. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. 
But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Luke chapter 2. Please pause the recording until you've reached the cross and empty tomb. We follow on and see him love us all the way to death on a cross to pay for our sin and shame, to be punished in our place instead of us. And the greatest joy of all, just as he promised, he lives, he rose from the grave to give us his perfect life and to give us eternal life, all as a gift. He was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. Romans chapter 4. His cross is the entry point into these hearts of ours that are so often overcrowded with so many things. He would love nothing more than for you to see his love for you tonight. There hasn't always been room for Jesus in our hearts, but here is good news of great joy for the deepest part of your heart. There has always been and there always will be room in Jesus' heart for you and me. Christmas means someone loves us so much that he'd rather come and be one of us and die for us than ever lose us. Thank you for coming tonight. Your presence is a gift to us. The peace of our Savior be yours for a blessed and Merry Christmas.